It's the Texas Monthly Barbecue Club Barbecue Tour, brought to you by Rambler. I'm riding this 1990 BMW R100GS built by Revival to four of the Hill Country's best barbecue spots. Let's get after it. Alright y'all, we're kicking off this barbecue tour at Franklin Barbecue, an iconic Austin spot. Let's see what we have going on inside. Alright Aaron, thanks for having us. Welcome to our above ground lair. Thank you very much. <laughs> so for those that don't know, Franklin Barbecue, what can you tell us about your spot? Uh, well, I can say uh, that we're in Austin, Texas, on the east side, uh, east of I-35, and we make barbecue, and we're called Franklin Barbecue. There you go. And that's about it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> what would you say, looking at the landscape of Texas barbecue, kind of sets Franklin apart from the rest of the scene? Um, I think I usually, I'm really good at keeping the barbecue blinders on. Like, no, 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 no. Like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I just want to do the Franklin thing. Um, but I think really what sets us apart, there's excellent Texas style barbecue all over the place. So I think really you can go anywhere and get good stuff. But I think we were maybe one of the first ones. Um, so I think maybe that sets us apart. We've been here, we'll turn 15 this year. Uh, so we've kind right. of been doing this, I feel like, for a while. Yeah, so it kind of set the standard for a lot of what is spread throughout the country and the I world. Mean, I would in never, a way, I would maybe, never say that. Yeah. What is the craziest thing you've ever seen go down at Franklin Barbecue? I can't talk about it. No? What's maybe something you're willing to share? Mm -hmm. No. No? No. Classified. Classified. We'd have too many barbecue freaks coming through this location. Yeah, like airplanes have a black box. We have a cardboard yeah. box there where we go. just put all, all the stuff in there. It's been a ridiculous run here. You don't ever really think about like all the weird things. You're like, oh, we're just going to open a little restaurant. Oh my God, there's a car that drove through the wall. That's happened. Like just all kinds of stuff. So what are your recommendations for pairing barbecue with Rambler? You know, water? this is going to seem like we staged this, but I guarantee we did not. Honestly, my favorite pairing for almost everything is Rambler. You know, like, brisket and all these barbecue meats are so fatty. Like, you've got to, like, cut that stuff with something, you know. Great palate cleanser. The minerality for Rambler is just so perfect. It's not overpowering. Just right. Just a little sweet. Just a little, you know, it's just kind of, like, very well balanced. But really, I think more than the minerality, I love the bubbles. The bubbles. It's also just a vibe. Um, Rambler. Yeah, it's an it's Austin a, brand. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Aaron. Thanks Heck for yeah. having us. Good chit chatting. Yeah. Hope y'all are having fun. Thanks. All right, what we have here is our jalapeno cheddar sausage, house sausage, our brisket, fatty and lean, pork ribs, pulled pork, turkey, coleslaw, potato salad, and pinto beans. Enjoy. All right, y'all. Let's go a little deeper into the Texas Hill Country. Explore some more barbecue. We rode out to the German Texas town of Fredericksburg on this German Texas motorcycle to try some Korean Texas barbecue. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm here with Lance. How's it going? Going great. So for people that don't know about Eater, what can you even tell us about your joint here? Uh, well, we've been here for three years. Uh, we're refugees from Houston. 
Uh, we, you know, we're not originally from there, but we lived, spent 17 years there. Came here, decided that it was time to open up our own spot, and Fredericksburg was the place to do it. In the landscape of Texas barbecue and everything that's going on with Texas barbecue, what would you say sets Eaker apart? A couple things. So we run Mesquite, which is not very popular, but we do it right. So I think uh, think you'll you'll find out when you get a taste of that brisket. The big differentiator is going to be the Korean influence. So we're not Korean fusion per se, but we have a Korean compliments to the menu banchan so house made kimchi properly made house made kimchi by my mother-in-law uh we do a korean cucumber salad uh, kimchi fried rice and and we do a gochujang rib which would be i guess technically fusion so we, we smoke it instead of grill it make the gochujang base as well as the sauce um so you're going to get those korean elements that actually pair very well with uh texas barbecue what's the weirdest thing that you've had go down at the restaurant Literally right after we purchased the property. Fire almost up to the roof, right there, right oh, wow. in front of the wood pile and uh, almost the, the tank, it was- Almost exploded. It almost whole... exploded, yeah. Almost burned down my yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I have a gochujang ribs, brisket, and a, our hill country sausage. And this one is our special today, smoked uh, Wagyu um, bacon jam burger. Okay. Kimchi and our cu Korean cucumber salad. Gotcha. And this is our kimchi fried rice and mac and cheese. Looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. Five times too much of you. That's awesome. And before, before, but actually, I've been just before we opened the deep breath. Right. Hey, hey, Blake. Yep. By the way, it looks like Eaker, but it's actually Acre. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Y'all, it's Acre Barbecue here in Fredericksburg. All right, y'all. It's day two of the Texas Monthly Barbecue Club barbecue tour. We're here in Lockhart, Texas at Barb's Barbecue, right on the beautiful town square. Let's go inside and see what they got. excited I am. Yeah. At Barb's, um, we like to say that we're keeping the Central Texas style with the meats, but with the flavors of everything else. Yeah. We're bringing in Southern and Mexican and Florida. My elder siblings uh, were born in Mexico and I have a completely different experience than them. In general, because of my upbringing, I just felt that it was my job to share this good food with everyone. And What's the situation with y'all's smoked ceviche? It's a little special right now. One thing I'm getting very excited for is yeah. barbecue. It's bringing in seafood. Alrighty. Are those uh, lamb chops? Yeah. Jesus. I'm not even ready for that. You're not. You're not. You're not. Alrighty. Okay, so you've got the spelt, homemade spelt, spelt bread. This is our smoked ceviche, green spaghetti, pork stew. We have turkey, ribs, lamb, brisket, sausage, and your desserts are going to be the pineapple upside down cobbler oh and the chocolate pudding. All right, y'all, now we're heading a little further south to the town of Seguin, one of the oldest towns in Texas, to check out Burn Bean Barbecue. Let's get it. All right, Ernest. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Blake, you doing okay? So we're here at Burnt Bean in Seguin. Burnt Bean in Seguin? Yeah, we just took a look at the whole pit setup and everything with Dave. Yeah. How about uh, we go inside and you show us the Are you hungry? Here. I'm ready. All let's right, do let's it. do this. So what is the story on y'all's brisket? 
Uh, we keep it simple here, just salt and pepper, and uh, just patience, you know? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. So, when you kind of look at everything that's going on with Texas barbecue, what would you say kind of sets burnt meat apart from a lot of the other stuff that's going on out there? You know, all we do is keep everything simple. Yeah. You know, we don't want to have a, 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 we call it a guitar solos or a, a drum solo where you're just putting all your eggs in, in the brisket. You know, we want, it's a symphony, simple, good food, but yet it's executed right. Yeah, yeah, okay, I love that. Texas barbecue done right, done simple. Yeah, simple. This is like a pork chop? Yeah, man, that's our pork chop, our famous wow. pork chop. Okay. First pork chop we've seen on the, on the Texas Monthly Barbecue Club Barbecue Tour. Yeah, man. This is our signature sausage. It's called El Cinco. Okay. Every barbecue joint has their own version of jalapeno cheese. Nice. All right. Y'all like lamb or no? Hell yeah. I'll make you a lamb. That looks insane. All right, so first thing is, I gotta know about the lamb wrapped ribs. Yeah, so those are Moroccan style lamb ribs. That's one of my favorite cuts. Uh, it's a lamb breast and uh, they're real tender and, and I do a Moroccan style lamb rub and then we top it off with a kind of an acid base type of thing with some herbs and uh, start with some yogurt and some bot butt and uh, it's one of my favorite. And then how about like the ribs and the, the pork chop? And yeah, so we do our smoked pork chops on like Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, it's one of my favorites on here. Pork ribs, uh, that's our Cinco sausage. So that's our house sausage that's made here and then, you know, the Granddaddy of Mall, which is our brisket. Yeah, the brisket. And, and uh, you know, and uh, Kipple Simple. Pork chop's one of my favorite things. It's, uh, you know, we brine it for over 48 hours okay. and slow smoke it and uh, good old Central Texas style cuisine. But yeah, we elevate it. You know, me and Dave, we wanted to, the only thing we wanted to do was kind of separate ourselves. And what separates us is that we, we do different fun things like our lamb ribs or our cornbread pudding, uh, street corn pudding, or that's our uh, smoked barbacoa dirty rice and then that's our tater tot casserole and our cowboy beans all right so it seems like texas barbecue also has some of the best dessert just about anywhere so what have y'all come up with that uh burnt bean we make fresh baked cakes every day it's our cinnamon roll cake there's two iconic desserts that every barbecue joint serves in the country okay not just in texas in the country one of them is banana pudding and one of them is cobbler and ice cream so what we have here is uh, my version of banana pudding. Uh, it, it's uh, it's more of a banana mousse, and then with pecan sandies on the bottom, a little crisp topping on there. This is a fun one too. This is our bourbon peach cobbler taco. Just a really good textural, really good thing. A lot of barbecue joints used to just have bluebell, you know, ice cream, and maybe a couple of Snicker bars in the corner. You know, desserts was an afterthought in a lot of places, but now it's not. Uh, and this is, you know, what you get here, and the envelope's being pushed. Finishing out the Texas Monthly Barbecue Club barbecue tour here at Burnt Bean and Sedin. Total experience. Uh, you definitely have to check it out. Thanks again, Ernest. Thank you. Well, we've hit four of the Hill Country's best barbecue spots in two days. Started off at Franklin and Austin, followed by Acre in Fredericksburg, then Barb's in Lockhart, now finishing strong at Burnt Bean and Sedin. You know, Texas Monthly is the authority on Texas barbecue. And if you want to become more involved in the Texas barbecue community, the Texas Monthly Barbecue Club is the best way to do that. You'll get access to exclusive content, discounts on merch, early access to tickets at the Texas Monthly Barbecue Festival in Lockhart. You really can't beat it. If you're a barbecue freak like me, definitely join. Cheers, y'all.